Hello, comrade. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. We're planning on uh, taking some of the local pre work out. Not that stuff, just normal pre work in the tub. Um, having some protein shakes after as well. And if they have creatine, because I haven't had creatine in like four days, so I need a, you know, need to top up on the reserves. I'm going to be getting my 200 baht ready. 200 baht in equivalent to like Australian dollars is about $9, just so you know. If this was a, uh, an Uber ride in Sydney, Australia, we're easily looking at, what, $30, $40 minimum. So I'd say it's a good deal. That's the Patong Beach right there. So we're pretty local to the Batong Beach, almost as, as close as you can get. Right there, quote unquote, is a public bathroom, but you have to pay for it in order to enter. So I don't think there's any really real public bathrooms unless you walk into a club or something. So if you're about to shit yourself, <laughs> yeah, good luck. You're just gonna have to dig up some sand and make a hole and hope for the best. Yeah, pretty much here. Yeah, boss, yeah. Thank you very much, boss. Is it Krapnan Khan? Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, Kapnanka. Oh, but every time I say it's different. <laughs> this bird probably looked at me and said, What did you say to my, my ancestors? <laughs> so you got good intentions. Why <laughs> not I think that's it, yeah, right here, right here. We, we have arrived. I mean, to be honest, if you, if you told me that this was one of the best rated gyms in the world, I wouldn't believe you. But I, I have a feeling we're gonna be shocked upon entrance. Look, as long as they have pre-workout and decent equipment, then I'll be a happy man. Okay, well, so far this looks dodgy. Like dodgy, dodgy. Uh, we're gonna stop there? That's it, yeah, that's it. I can see some pre workout and protein tubs. Okay, well, so far. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. So far, I don't know what's going on. We're already getting a tour of the gym, so we'll see how we go. Okay, so lucky I didn't give my review already. We've been told there's a downstairs as well, level two. But so far, if that was a, if that was it, I would have been thoroughly disappointed. Okay, so making our way down to level one, I suppose. This is the second half of the gym. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now, now, this is a lot better. Okay, this is Cracker. It's 
is mad. I don't think we'll be going upstairs, eh? You got everything here. Some leg machines over there. You got your squat racks, platforms. It's pretty decent, man, to be honest. It's good. It's mad. Cool. Yeah. But I think this lady thinks we're gonna, gonna, gonna get a gym membership. Habibi, one, two days past max. <laughs> two days max, max. All right, look, to be honest, so far, it just looks like a standard Sydney gym. I mean, there isn't much else to it. Like a standard Sydney gym that hasn't really updated in Yonks. It's better than nothing. To be honest, it's good. You can get any, anything. You can work out anything decently. So we we'll see if we can work out a deal and get our workout going. Most of this stuff you can find in Australia as well. Like, I think, I think the only stuff you won't be able to find is some of these pre-workouts that are banned in Australia. But we'll see which ones they have. How much is it? What's this? Is that? One day. What's this butt? Is that butt? Yeah. Minwen. Hmm, you reckon? Pricey, huh? It's a skamaz. It's an old school one. Yeah. Check that out next to the same. Yeah, let's go. Look, darling, the, the problem is this one too expensive. There's one up the road, they do much cheaper. Because we're only here for one day. Sorry? We're here one day, both of us. Because in, in, in Australia, in Australia, the one day pass is $5 Australian. This year is about, 1000 is 40 42 This is 20 $21. This is almost one month in Australia. It's too expensive. <laughs> Two of us? No, nah, sorry. It's too expensive still, darling. We're, we're going to go up the road. It's okay. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Look, I'll be straight out. I don't know what they're smoking, but there's no chance on earth. <laughs> there's no <laughs> chance on earth. I was spending more than five Australian dollars for one day visit there. Like, it was okay. I was expecting, because this place has 1,000 4.8 star average review. Either they're paying for local reviews, or these tourists have, I don't know where they're coming from, their gyms are horrendous, because that is, in Australia, that's a two out of 10 gym, Min like maximum. So, yeah, but look, we got a tour for the video, so if you wanna come to this gym, you know what the expectations are. Okay, after friggin' 40 minutes, we have arrived right back where we came from. Checking out the next option, which is the only other option we have, Phuket Gym Patong. We'll see how we go. We're gonna do a quick tour, honestly most, Likely, whatever it is, we're just gonna bloody work out here because I'm sweating bullets. You have pre workout, boss? Pre workout? No, no pre workout? Fuck. Let's see what they have. Over there? Let's go across and see what they have. Right, come back. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Oh, it's closed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do you have any cafe here? Anything? Shot. We need, we need, yeah, we need a shot. There's no way I'm working in that place. It doesn't even feel like there's aircon in there. Looks like they built the place in the 1950s. They got the equipment from 1960. 
So, I mean, <laughs> let's see what time this place happens. 11? Okay, listen, listen, listen. Whoever the business owner of, the, of this is, this is, you're silly, man. Silly, silly. You should open at the same time that that gym opens because they don't have any supplements, any peruca, any nothing. As far as this bloke, mate, you, you gotta stop being lazy and wake up earlier, mate. Our last option is seeing if this place here has coffee. If they don't, we're in for a one out of 10 experience with regards to gyms here in Patong, Thailand. How are you doing today, boss? Good? Uh, do, do you have uh, coffee? Coffee? Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. no coffee? No, no, no. Do you have cafe here? Any cafe? 7-Eleven. Uh, well, how far? Did we? I think we missed it. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven? How far, how far? Over there, yeah? Okay, so we're going through the back alleyways now. Back alleyways. How far? Thank you very much, boss. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Chila. Chila. Chila? Yeah. Here you go, boss. Here's tip. You're a good man. Oh, no problem. Don't worry, don't worry. Here. Good man, thank you. You know, if that was in Australia, I would have said, go, go on Google Apps and work it out yourself. He took his time to direct us. It's fair well, enough. In Australia, I was in Coles. I asked the lady who was the toothpaste. She walked me up to this little fucking billboard sign thing. She's like, wait this and you'll find it. No, 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 she didn't. That's dirty. That's dirty. Mind you, she would probably get paid 10 times more than this boat. Oh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, they have Red Bull here. That's good enough, eh? It's going to get a Red Bull. Bro, you do have Red Bull in one of the barbecues here. You can muggers themselves running. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where we are right now. That was dead serious. Just imagine this like, how am I going to explain it? I don't know, yeah. Imagine this like a random suburb break off off to the side of the main highway. That's what we can hey, picture this place to be. Street food? Brother, there's no way I'm risking this stuff hey, first I'll thing in the morning good. before my workout. I'll be a taste tester. <laughs> You'll be the taste tester? You'll be also be the taste tester in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, something that's very similar actually to Australia is the, the 7-Elevens. Very, very similar. Like, honestly, the only difference is are the writing on the front. Like everything's the same. Look guys, I know this was meant to be a gym video, but uh, <laughs> we've gone on a tour around Thailand. Just, just to find the right one and just to get some pre-workout. Um, look, all I need is Red Bull, man. <laughs> Did, did you find it? Oh, wait, what's that? Are those energy shots? Oh, isn't that a Red Bull energy shot? Oh, no, that's good. Let's ask her. Excuse me. Yeah, look, most of this stuff, unless it's imported, like this Red Bull there, you're not gonna you're not gonna understand what it is. Like this, it just unless you're familiar with the brand, you're just winging it. So I guess we'll. Oh, there's coffee shots here. It's coffee shots. 17 bar, I'll take three, thank you very much. Uh, Espresso shot, Bull? look. Which Red Bull? Strong. This Red Bull. But, but this one, is this a shot? Is it stronger? This Which? one, this strong. Red Bull. This oh, one's stronger okay. than this one? This is strong. Yes. How about for the, caf how about for the, the coffee shots? Which one? one? Something to go train. Like something energy. This? Okay. Only. You want Red Bull? Okay. Are these only... Something energy. Something to make... This? All of this you're saying? Any, okay. any of them? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they know as good as us, I guess. This one, <laughs> look, let me... <laughs> yeah, it's just take this, take this, this one good, this one no good. This one looks like medicine, bro. This is medicine. I'm not trusting that. 
You know what I'm gonna do? This looks good, bro. This looks mad. It's just like pretty ready shots. Look at this, espresso shot. Yeah? Let me see if we can even read the caffeine. No luck. No luck. Basically, oh, Arabian. You're gonna get that? What are you using, Google Translate? Okay, that's a good shot. Let's have a look here. Any luck? Serious? Oh wow, it's translated some stuff. Yeah, but I'm telling you, the, be the best shout here, just grab these caffeine shots right there. I'm gonna get two. They're only 17 baht, which is like what? 60 cents? These look mad. Arabian flavor, I'm familiar with this. Good enough, thank you very much. Would you agree? Yeah. Done. All right, I'm rocking with this. We'll see how we go. All right, so we got our hands on two espresso, espresso shots each. This is gonna be our pre-workout. So I'm gonna give you a quick taste testing. It's called Birdie Barista Arabian Blend Espresso Shot. We'll see how we go. We're each gonna give our, our review. Bruh. That's very that is sick. Like, sick. This is the best drink I've had in Thailand so far. I'm not even capping. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. If I got this in Sydney, or like, if I had this poured in an espresso cup in a cafe in Sydney, Australia, I would happily pay $15 for this. This is mad. And we got two. So we're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna give you a quick tour of the gym. And uh, we're gonna give, give you our review of the gym straight after that. So we'll see you back in the gym. We're back. Uh, let me get my money. Can you give him the thousand? Thousand bar? That's a thousand bar. It's only 300, so I get 700 back. Thank you, boss. Okay, let's commence the tour. Let's commence the tour. We got a chest machine here. Um, I don't know what the hell that is, to be honest. That, oh, that's an abduct. That's a strange abduct, abductor, that one. This is. A pectoral fly, chest, chest fly. That looks like a lateral fly. That we come over here. This is seated calf raises. This is a different chest press, I believe. Chest press, yes, yeah, a different chest press. That one is for, I believe, glutes. I don't know what the hell that is. I mean, leg press, leg press, decline benches. That's abductors there, another abductor machine. This is, oh, a different standing abductor one. This one is rare in Sydney. Lying, hamstring curls, three of them. I don't know why there's three of them. Leg extensions. That's a hack squat, a ma massive hack squat. Just another leg extension there. You got your, your squat rack, sort of. Semi-squat rack, barbell. That's an incline bench, dumbbells. Old, old, old school dumbbells. Preacher curls, um, different preacher curl, decline bench. And cables over there. Another decline benchy Smith machine. I'm going to be on that. More jungle <coughs> gym equipment over there. And cardio machines. Beautiful. So, all in all, this place looks very, very good. Standing calf races and more chest equipment. So, what we're going to end up doing, what I'll end up doing for you, for you guys and girls. I'm gonna train just a full body. I'm just gonna tr try everything out. I'm most likely to train for about an hour, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go hard, because I'm yet to train or have any training sessions here. And I'll leave my review at the end of the workout. Okay, comrades. So, there you go. A Phuket gym experience here in Thailand. We ended up training in the Phuket gym in Patong, in Phuket, Thailand. Now, I'm gonna give a quick review 
of the entire gym. And this is going to be the review standards that I use for all the gym reviews moving forward. The list is location, cleanliness, value for money, the size of the actual gym, bathrooms, equipment, facilities, the layouts of the gym, the staff, and the overall vibes of, of the gym itself. The maximum score any given list can have is 11 out of 10. Now 11 out of 10 means it has exceeded all the expectations of that specific subcategory. So for example, if the size of the gym was just ridiculous, then it would be a 11 out of 10. So let's get through the list. Again, we trained at Phuket Gym in Patong in Phuket, Thailand. Starting at location, Location is 7 out of 10. It's literally near where all the tourists congregate. It's near the strip, the main strip, Bangla Road. It's near my resort, Nipa Resort. And it's also near Patong Beach. So 7 out of 10 for location. Cleanliness of the gym. Honestly, I, I can't give the gym itself any more than 2 out of 10 for cleanliness. I didn't see any sanitizers. Those equipment, those machines, I'm telling you, have not been wiped down for years. Years and years and years. Like, I grabbed something, my hands were all black. So, 2 out of 10 for cleanliness. Value for money. Is the place fair value? I would say it's just below fair value. It's 300 baht, which in translation to Aussie dollars is about 13 or 14 dollars for one day pass. The reason I say it's just under fair value is some gyms in Sydney they sell a one day pass for like $5. And in most places, you can get away with having a free three day pass. So I'm gonna give value for money, five. Then we get to the size of the gym. The size of the gym is equivalent to any standard gym in Sydney, maybe just a bit smaller. So I'm gonna give the size of the gym score as four out of 10. Then the bathrooms, the bathrooms are four out of 10. There's not much going on, it's just a bathroom with some lockers. Equipment, the equipment's good. The equipment's good. The reason I'm not gonna, gonna give the equipment a higher value, despite be, it being an old school gym vibe, which Sydney is missing, is because the equipment themselves need maintenance. They definitely need some maintenance and they need to update some things here and there. So overall, I'm gonna give the equipment six out of 10. The overall layout of the gym. It's okay. I mean, I don't think there was much thought to the layout, which I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Staff. Look, you can't go wrong with the staff here in Thailand. All the staff anywhere are amazing people. It's an amazing culture. The staff at the gym, I'm going to give 7 out of 10. The overall vibes. Now, just meaning music, vibes. I would give a 7 out of 10. Now, this is one category I would have given a higher score to. But there was no aircon. There was like one or two fans. And I'm telling you, we were dripping sweat. Like, it got to a point where... I was uh, starting to get very dizzy. Like I would finish a set and I'll be seeing stars from how uh, little oxygen there was circulating in the place. So seven out of 10. Therefore, the final score and review of Phuket Gym in Patong, Thailand is a 48 out of 100. Now, as you saw earlier in the video, we did stop at the other competitor to this gym. There's only two decent ones that are specific to building muscle. It's called Fitness Hero. Honestly, I'm not going to bother doing a review for that one because we walked in and out, but I will say it'll be a lot less or a lot lower than Phuket Gym in Patong. Like, I didn't like that, to be honest, at all. There was definitely better equipment and better better facilities, but I think it'll, it would have ended up being an overall lower score in comparison to this Phuket Gym in Patong. So that's the final review of our gym session here. I'm probably not going to train anymore here in Patong. I'll wait until I get back to Sydney and I'll start smashing my gym workouts again. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next episode.